Hi there, welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today in this video, we are going to be doing yet another video on the crowbar circuit. This one is answering question, why would you use a crowbar circuit over just using a fuse? Let's get into it. So, why would you use a crowbar circuit when you can just use a fuse? Well, let's say your circuit needed a very, very consistent 5 volts. Otherwise, it would destroy some of the chips inside the circuit. So, but let's say there's a voltage spike in your input power. The fuse will allow that to pass since it's only made to blow a certain rating. If it's like a crazy amount of uh, current, they'll probably blow the fuse. But sometimes it's just a quick voltage spike. And your uh, fuse, which is basically a piece of wire, will allow that to pass. And that will probably destroy something in your circuit. And from there, once something is destroyed in the circuit, it might uh, be t drawing too much current and blow your fuse. So, that's not very good. So the advantage of using a crowbar circuit is you have your um, input power and to the circuit, and you have your crowbar circuit in between those. And you still have your fuse there. So what happened is, let's say there's a voltage spike. What will happen is the zener diode will break down, trigger the gate of the SCR, and the SCR will short out your input power until the fuse blows. And this happens very, very quickly. And another advantage is if you can short out your fuse, which are much cheaper than sometimes the components in your circuit, then this would be a very, very good circuit just to, to use so you can save your components in your circuit while just blowing a fuse. And typically fuses are fairly cheap. So that's why you use a crowbar circuit over just a normal fuse, because the fuse will act pretty much just like a piece of wire. Unless it's like a crazy voltage spike that uh, it might blow the fuse, but still might wreck some of the stuff in your circuit. So crowbar for the win. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And if you have any more questions about a crowbar circuit, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be glad to answer. And I'll see you next time.